President Barack Obama has given his embattled Afghanistan commander his marching orders, pack up and go home. The trash talk about Obama's inner circle portrayed in this magazine profile of General Stanley McChrystal means the architect of the U.S. troop surge will not be around to see it through. I welcome debate among my team, but I won't tolerate division. Summoned home from Kabul, McChrystal got the news in a half-hour meeting in the Oval Office. Afterward, Obama told reporters McChrystal left him no choice. His conduct was unbecoming. It undermines the civilian control of the military that is at the core of our democratic system. To take his place, Obama is turning to the author of the Iraq troop surge, General David Petraeus. It should be clear to everybody he does so at great personal sacrifice to himself and to his family. Indeed, technically it's a demotion since Petraeus currently oversees both wars as head of central command. But Obama hopes Petraeus can quickly take the reins of a troubled Afghan war effort. General Petraeus, however, has been directly involved in much of this. He's worked with Pakistan. He's worked with the Afghan leadership. The allies know him. Lawmakers greeted the change with a mixture of sadness and relief. Dave Petraeus is our best hope. If things don't change, nobody can pull it out in Afghanistan. I think the president said today very clearly, everybody in my administration has now got to get with the program. Yet if the Senate confirms him, Petraeus's challenge would be immense, finding a way to turn the tide in an unpopular nine-year-old conflict before Obama starts bringing troops home in the summer of next year. Having to change commanders at this crucial juncture was the last thing the president wanted to do. But with his hand forced, aides tell us Obama reckoned his best replacement would be someone who, if nothing else, would not have much of a learning curve. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.